Hello beautiful souls, I trust you're all doing super well today. Since shaving my head a month ago for the first time ever, I had beautiful long dreadlocks that came down to about here for six years and prior to that I, I've always had very long hair. The shortest my hair has ever been is shoulder length and a month ago I shaved my head. If you haven't seen that video and you're interested in my experience then here is a little linky loo to that video. I shaved my head for for the second time ever ever yesterday so I am now completely bawdy <laughs> And since I've shaved my head, I have been playing around with different wigs. A majority of the time I just live my life like this, but it has been a lot of fun experimenting with different wigs, different styles, different lengths, and I'm really enjoying the experience of just waking up in the beginning of the day and asking myself, what do I feel like doing today with my hair? Do I just want to rock the shaved head look? You know, what's my style today? Day. and that's been a lot of fun so I thought I would share with you the wigs that I have. It is a growing collection and kind of do a little review of each of them. They are all wigs that I purchased from TikTok and every single one of them was less than £10 so they are dirt cheap and I was expecting the quality to be really low like you get what you pay for right and I've also never used TikTok shop before so so literally my first purchase on TikTok shop was a wig and the subsequent purchases I've made have all been wigs. So I thought it would be fun to review these wigs and share with you my experience of wearing wigs when I've never worn wigs before. So the first thing to mention is that I have been kind of experimenting with different things so like wearing a, a cap, wearing a, a rubber band. I would say that it's definitely best to go with the cap because wigs are quite sweaty. It's definitely a, a thing that happens a lot is you just sweat and all of the wigs that I have they're all made of synthetic hair so it's essentially just like wearing a bunch of plastic on top of your head. If you're thinking of wearing a wig I would definitely recommend wearing one of these. Obviously I don't have my own hair to like tuck away but I imagine that this is essential. If you have hair and you're not shaved like I am you would definitely need to wear one of these because it will keep all of your hair tucked inside and it won't fall out whilst you're wearing the wig. Also I imagine the the wig sitting on top of your hair it will be quite slippery and this gives it something to kind of grip onto. But even though I have no hair I still prefer to wear one of these because I find that it stops the wig from slipping but it also kind of protects the inner mesh of the wig from my scalp. If I'm having a, a day where maybe I'm a bit dandruffy and I haven't, you know, moisturised my, my skull, this is really useful as well for, for that reason. So I'm going to pop this on. It feels quite nice as well. It feels like wearing a super tight beanie. It feels nice. Then there's this rubber band fella. Now this has been an absolute lifesaver when it's been windy outside. I recently took a day trip out to the NEC. I made a video about it. Go and check it out. It's in my uh, vlogs playlist if, you, if you're interested in my adventures. But I was wearing a wig that day. It was like gale force wind outside. Even though I spent a majority of the day inside because the fair I went to was inside an exhibition centre, walking from the car park to the exhibition centre was quite a trek and I would have lost my wig <laughs> if I wasn't wearing one of these. So it's bobbly on both sides. It has very small bobbles on this side. That's the side that you have touching your scalp and then it has quite raised bobbles on the other side which is what the wig kind of grips onto. You just basically put this around the edge of the cap so it sits around your head like that. 
It is quite tight. It's made of rubber. If you're prone to headaches from, from like pressure on your head, this probably will give you a headache after a while. I am like that. I am very prone to, if I wear hats for too long or just anything on my head for too long, too long being like a couple of hours plus, I do start to get a headache. However, I have found that I've been able to wear wigs with this going on as well for about six hours, I think is probably the maximum that, that I've worn it. And it's around the five, six hour mark that I really start to feel it around here. But prior to then, I do basically forget that I'm wearing a wig. It all feels just very secure and very snug. Just something to bear in mind, if you are prone to headaches, you might wanna do what I did and just wear a wig for maybe an hour and then wear it for two hours and then sort of build up the time. So the first wig that I purchased is this one. This one is by a company called Woke Star, and I actually got this one from Amazon. All of the other wigs that I have, I got from uh, the TikTok shop, but this one I did get from Amazon. So I told you a little fib there when I said that they were all from TikTok. <laughs> this is the most expensive wig that I have, and it was $21.99, so it's still dirt cheap for a wig. So let's put her on. I do have one of these, it's like a, it's um, a detail tangler brush. I don't use a regular hairbrush because the hair will come out. This detangler brush, it has very soft, like flimsy plastic bristles and I'm not brushing too hard. It does the job really nicely without ripping all of the hair out. So definitely recommend a detangler brush over a regular hairbrush. On the inside, it's got this lovely mesh skull cap. I'll just turn her inside out for a moment so you can see. So it's got this lovely mesh cap with a lovely, lovely flower detail. It's very beautiful. And it has these straps here in the back. So these straps go like back here. You can adjust the size by pulling these in a little bit tighter if you need to, or you could just go without if you've got a particularly big head. <laughs> so let's get her on. So it will take a little bit of messing around with to get it where you want it. I feel like I need a proper mirror because I can't see what I'm doing. So you can just sort of grab it from the top and just make sure it's like straight. So this particular wig, I did have to cut the fringe because it was quite long when it first arrived. It was like down here. There we go. I think that's that's about right. So this particular wig is 14 inches in length from the crown all the way down to the ends. This particular one is red wine colour. It comes in loads of different colours, every colour you can think of, like bright rainbow colours, natural colours, loads of different shades of blonde and brown. Just pop my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. <laughs> and it's really comfortable. This is the one that I wore the other day to the exhibition centre. Gale Force wins and I did not have to hold my wig to my head. The rubber band just kept it so secure. The skull cap came with the wig and the rubber band I bought from TikTok shop for like £2.50. It was really, really cheap. So let's... So the second wig that I purchased was my first ever purchase from TikTok shop. It's this really long lady here. She is 28 inches long. She's got these beautiful curls. So what I did find is when your wig first arrives, you gotta brush it out and like loads of hair will come out because it is brand new, but it's just like getting the loose ones out. Once you've done that, you don't really lose any more hair. This one has the same style cap as the previous one. I've added in, I had this little bow and I've added this in because it pulls the hair away from your face and I just found that it made it look a little bit more natural. So I've left the bow in. This one also has bangs on the front or a fringe. The cap is adjustable. So let's just put it on the right setting. Okay, so I found that the the long ladies are a little bit trickier to, to put on. What I've been doing is I just grab the front, place it here and then like whip my hair back. <laughs> 
there we go so let's just adjust it so it's in the right place and then just it's got like a little flap in the back of the cap that you can just sort of pull down just to make sure it's in the right spot so this fringe is quite long <laughs> it's not in the right spot is it okay i think i'm gonna have to take the bow out i found that it is a bit fiddly sort of you know when you first put it on you really do have to fiddle with it to get it exactly in the right spot you know for it to look natural but maybe that's just because i'm i'm new to the whole wig game so this one does have a, a very long fringe as well but it's not too bad you can sort of sweep it across if you want to you can put the bow in because i find it just helps to uh keep it out of your face a little bit it does enjoy like just being up in your grill there we go pretty yeah so uh so this is this is Lila. She's very beautiful. So like I said, this is my first ever purchase from TikTok shop. This wig cost me £6.49. Absolute bargain. And I think like the quality is very much basically the same as Mila over here that cost me over double the price from Amazon. I've also seen this exact same wig on TikTok shop being sold by a different seller. So I think these wigs are just being manufactured in bulk and different people are buying them and then reselling them on. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. I mean, before I had my dreadlocks, I had hair that was about this length and it was the same color as this. And I just really miss having purple hair, which is why I got this wig, because I, I really wanted to have purple hair again. It makes me feel very feminine having very long hair. And I love how like curly it is, you know, it's got these very beautiful waves in the back. It's it's very sweet and very cutesy and I I really love it. So I ordered another two wigs from TikTok shop because I was so impressed with the quality of this and the price. I decided to go back for more. They are not from the same sellers so I have no idea what to expect. Let's have a look. Okay so the first thing I ordered was a wig stand. So this stand was £1.30 for. I mean it's well packaged like it's in bubble wrap and it's in a seal like ziplock bag so ooh, in pieces okay so I think it's just a case of instructing it I think I'm doing this right am I doing this right I don't know okay that's cool and then I guess this guy just sits on top of there like that yeah very simple design but effective Okay, cool. I'll just sit like that. Okay, that's nice. £1.34. Absolute bargain. I only bought one because I, I wanted to just see if it was absolute trash or not because the price suggests that it really would be. But very happy with that. Okay, so now we've got two beautiful wigs. I don't even remember what I bought. What did I buy? Okay, so I have a, a brown wavy one and then I've got this very beautiful black and pink it's like a half and half so I think we'll do the brown one next let's take Lila off oh she's stuck on my earrings Lila's a, a lot longer I think I'm gonna put her on the stand instead cool all right yeah let's uh let's see about this brown one this one again from tiktok shop and it cost me nine pound 93 it's come in this lovely opaque ziplock bag oh look at that color that's so gorgeous it's like a lovely honey brown color so it's in a giant hairnet so i'm just gonna lift her out Oh, seriously, what a gorgeous colour. Look at that. She's got this paper inside and the cap looks pretty standard. It's not the same as the this as the one that those two have. It's very soft, actually. Those, those caps are quite scratchy, but this one is really soft. The whole thing's very soft, actually. Again, synthetic. All of these wigs are synthetic. The crown there does look very good. It's got like a, a very pale, I don't 
don't know what that is. Maybe like it's a piece of rubber or something maybe that the hair's been rooted into. So it looks like your scalp. These have also got the same thing going on. This one is very, very pale and doesn't really look very natural. This one looks very natural, I think, this uh, scalp. But this honestly looks like the most natural out of all of them. The color is, uh, is perfect. So let's have a look at what's going on in here. So it's it's got the straps, the adjustable straps, the same as the uh, the rest. But it's also got this little prong thing going on as well. So I guess that's to push into your hair, maybe. Maybe you're meant to like push it up into your cap or something. Maybe I'll try and do that because obviously I don't have any hair to, to push it into. But it's like an extra little grippy. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, so there's two here and there's one right in the back. So that's going to take a little bit of fiddling around with, I think. So I'll just give her a little brush. Oh, she's so soft. Look at that. The brush is just going straight through. It doesn't smell like hair. Obviously, you wouldn't expect it to smell like shampoo or anything. But it doesn't smell bad. It just smells new. Okay. I'm so sorry for the noise. I've given Robin the bubble wrap. And in hindsight, that was probably a really bad idea. <laughs> okay. So let's... Uh... Let's get this one on. All right, so I've just taken the comb and I've just tucked it into the band at the back. I cannot see it. The fringe is so long on this thing. I'm going to have to cut it for sure. It's a little bit loose. I don't think I've done it up right enough, but that's okay. That's, uh, these things take adjustments, you know. Okay, so there's one comb tucked in. It's just like finding the, finding the comb on the edge. There we go. Okay, all right, we're in, we're on. We're in. Yeah, this fringe is way too long. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Come on, okay, let's see. Maybe if we do that. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe she's a sweepy. Maybe she's a sweepy fringe. I don't know. It's gonna take some fiddling to sort of see what suits me. I love the color. I really love the color. And she's so long and beautiful. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't look. It looks like a wig. I think, but that's just because of the way the fringe is falling. So maybe I just need to get used to having hair in my face because I'm not used to that. I'm used to having like a little sweepy fringe where it's like out of the way. It's such a gorgeous colour. It's like this beautiful honey, caramelly brown. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. This is gorgeous. So beautiful. Look at her. Oh my gosh, I'm like a model or something. I love it. The more I can't stop looking at myself. <laughs> The more I, I look at it, the more I'm just like, oh yes, darling. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, new favorite, I think for sure. Okay, so the last one then. This one was a similar price to my honey baby here. Uh, this was £9.71. She's in a, like a Sealy bag. Oh, all right, so she comes with a wig cap. All right, so same, same go. She's got a bit of paper inside and she's inside this giant hairnet. So let's just release her from her mortal bonds. She's a very cool color. Oh, it stuck to me. Ah, get off me. <laughs> okay, and there's a piece of tissue inside. It's the exact same mesh cap as these two both have. Okay, so let's just give her a little brush. She's supposed to be straight, like just completely straight, but she's actually got waves in the bottom. I don't mind that, but it is not as advertised. It was advertised as being completely straight. Now, being synthetic hair, you can use hair straighteners just on a very low setting because synthetic hair is made out of plastic. I used to make dreadlock extensions out of synthetic hair and I would use a hair straightener to seal them. So I would dread it and then I would use the hair straightener to seal it, which essentially was melting the plastic hairs together to stop the dread from falling out. And so it would remain as a dreadlock. If you do use hair straighteners on a synthetic wig and, you, and it's too hot and you leave it on for too long, you will melt it and you'll just melt the hair together, which is obviously not what you're gonna want to do. Do. You, on a very low setting, 
<laughs> I'm trying to wear lilac. So, okay, I don't want to take this one off. Oh, this is going to be tricky, isn't it? Because of all the cones. So I guess I've got to unhook it first. I bet this is secure as like houses when you're in wind, in windy, windy weather. Okay, let's try this one then. This has also got adjustable little straps. So I'm just going to put this on the second pole. All right, let's go for it. This one feels so different. Okay, so I think this one is going to be really, really noticeable if, if like the hairline isn't straight because of the two colours. You really got to make sure it's in the middle of your head. I suppose it is relatively straight. It's just got like a wave in the bottom. So this one I'm going to need to chop the fringe because the, the point of this is that it's like half and half colour. I suppose it's not too bad actually. It only needs a little bit of a trim, I think, the fringe. I quite like that. I, I like that the, the pink is not like super vibrant, so it looks a bit more real. I've always dyed my hair really bright colours and the colours do fade really quickly unless you basically don't wash your hair very often, which I, I didn't. I didn't used to wash my hair super often. I used to wash my hair maybe once a week and when I did wash my hair, I used to wash it in cold water. Okay, that's a bit better. I've just pulled it back a little bit and it's not really sitting in the right spot, but I, I, I need to uh, chop the fringe. <laughs> <laughs> I've got hair like all over my face. I can feel it everywhere. But yeah, like I did have my hair pink for quite a while and this is basically the colour that it would sit at a majority of the time because it, it does fade and it does wash out quite quickly. Pink doesn't really stay in for very long. Green really hangs on forever. Blue becomes green. Pink just becomes like salmon coloured, which is basically what this is. So yeah, I like that this wig is not super, super vibrant and the black isn't like solid stark black either like Robin is more black than than this this looks brown compared to Robin <laughs> so yeah I mean it's comfortable and it does feel the hair feels very soft which is really nice and it doesn't feel too heavy yeah I like this I, I think it can look quite natural actually this one but uh but yeah so that's that's my little wig haul, I guess. <laughs> but I'm curious, like, what's your favourite? Let me know in the comments down below. So as always, thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate your beautiful faces. Do check out the Patreon, link is down in the description below, and also the shiny new YouTube members button. There's loads of cool perks that you can claim, and your support means the world to me. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one.